This is the first section of the exhibition, the first encounter, and it's titled Opening Act. What you see are three artworks that are put together, and all of them are addressing ideas of touch or gesture in some way. Whether it's the gesture of the outstretched arms in the Simone Lee sculpture, the gesture of the conjoined arms in the Louise Bourgeois cell behind me, or the full-bodied embrace that you see in the Joan Semmel painting in the back. The opening sculpture in this section is by Simone Lee, who has been selected to represent the United States in the 2022 Venice Biennale. In the Simone Lee sculpture titled Cupboard from 2019, we see a life-size figure. The torso is ceramic and it's made with a green tea glaze, one that's a kind of shimmering green that's incredibly beautiful in person. And this torso sits atop a voluminous raffia skirt that really has not only a sense of space, but even has a slight scent to it as well. You'll see that the torso is combined with a domestic vessel, a pot for its head. And this really conjures ideas of care and of labor. One can think about the labor of collecting water, the labor of collecting grains or food, and perhaps that being carried upon the head. The skirt below reads, of course, as a garment, as a skirt, which is most often associated with women, but it can also read as architecture. It can read as a traditional dwelling, and specifically traditional dwellings in sub-Saharan Africa. So that this combination of the body and the female form with architecture is one that really evokes notions of women as stalwarts of the home, or women as kind of central to the idea of domestic space. Another artwork in this section is the Louise Bourgeois cell. This is an artwork that's part of a series that the artist made when she was in her 80s, a whole series of sculptures that she called cells. And what you can see is a kind of architectural environment that encases or surrounds a central sculptural element. In this case, you see a slab of marble and emanating from the slab of marble are these conjoined hands, a fist that lays atop an open palm, a gesture that maybe is a gesture of tension. Maybe it's a gesture that could be read in a number of different ways. And the cell is really its own mini exhibition, or one could even think about it as a diorama in certain ways. But really it's also a charged psychological space where the exterior, the outside, is in some ways charged and at odds with the interior. And one could think about this as the interior being the space of the artist, perhaps the space of the studio, perhaps the space of her mind, and the exterior being a kind of public space. And so within this exhibition and within this section in particular, we have this kind of intersection of, of the body with architecture, with domestic vessels, with uh, a variety of different outside spaces, and this idea of both gesture and touch also intertwined with ideas of both private and public.